Here's a short pass to Jay. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Moves it to the middle. He scores! What a goal! If you look at the analytics or the heat map, this is his wheelhouse right tight to the net. If he gets any time with that puck, he's going to bury it. He's such an accurate shooter. The Dogs were preaching getting off to a good start after the morning skate, Cheryl. I didn't think they were really going to follow through this quickly. Well, you can't write up a better script in this one. I mean, just to start the game, you come out on fire and you silence the crowd. That's the way to get started. Moves it to Powers. Along the half wall with the puck. Katno's got a hold of the puck now. And they continue to apply pressure here. Moves the pass in front. And that's intercepted. Moves the puck along the half wall. The dogs gain possession. Cuts into the paint. Big save in front. Reaction time is so critical for goaltenders because with the way the players shoot in this game today, man, it is so tough to stop. So this one, instincts. Glove goes up, makes the save. Moves it to the middle. And it goes off a stick and off target. Oh, making his presence felt with the hit. He knew exactly what he was doing with that hit this early in the game. He's trying to send it. Scores! Oh, wow! What a finish for him close! Well, it's point blank, James, and he is known for this shot. He works to get in tight, and when he gets an opportunity in that area, he simply doesn't miss. Well, you have to be an accurate shooter if you're going to score goals in tight, James, because you get closure quickly. you got to find a way to have pinpoint accuracy. It's a game of inches, and he doesn't miss. And they win that draw at center. Slides it on over to Dupuis. Cross corner dump in. Big time hit check there. That's how you finish a play. Here we go, on man rush. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. Jay is going off to the box for two minutes. Teams are the difference so many times in a game. Huge for them to set the tone and really get the setup and the looks they're looking for. Boston's got possession of the puck. Into the offensive zone down the right wing. There's a jolt of energy they need. Taken by Bowers. This attempt is deflected. They clear the zone. The dogs get a hold of the puck under man. Boston's got it in the neutral zone. Puck scooped up by McCartney. The Aces take it along the wall. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. The Dogs get back to even strength as the penalty killing unit delivers. Well, the power play unit looks stifled out there and they have to make adjustments and read off what the PK unit is doing and there was none of that. And that's poked away by Powers. From center, they get into the attacking area. Gatno sliding the puck behind the net. Oh, gets a blocker on it to turn it away. The one-timer! Big stop by the keeper. The goaltender gets the better of him this time, but man, does he ever love to attack when he's in the offensive zone. That one-timer that he's known for, he executes typically, and this time it gets turned aside. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. What a steal in his own end. Boston's been working hard away from the puck, and they're using their awareness to take away angles and seams. And this is something they're doing with their stick positioning. Coach talked about it pregame, how important it was going to be. Oh, great save and a beauty on the play. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. That's his second penalty this period, James. He's got to reset emotionally and find a way to focus in on staying disciplined.
They'll go back to work on their special teams. Power plays, more time on the ice, the ability to get that puck moving. These players know exactly what they're doing. They work on it in practice. Spoke to some of them earlier today at the pregame, and they talked about the execution and the precision in particular with their puck movement. And now he moves it quickly to Boss. Intercepts the pass. Thunderous hip check on the play. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Well, this power play certainly hasn't been good. They have to find a way to gain some traction. And where it starts is getting in. That is the key to any power play, to set it up and then drive the net. Moss at the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. Bowers wins the draw at center. Gatnos looking to break out. Through center. And he slides it quickly to Boss. Quick feed down low. Huge steal at his own end. Moves it on over to Ma. The dogs are back to even strength here. It's in! He scores! He's got those incredible puck handling skills, in particular when he's in tight spaces. He just knows how to move his opponent out of position. And he does it there, and he finds the back of the net. Here in the later stages of this period, Boston's shown a new energy over these last few minutes. They got one back, but they still need one more in order to tie. The Aces have it now. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Cut into the front of the net. The Aces gain. It's in the back of the net. He scores! Well, that's just two quick goals in a minute 20. And as quick as a hiccup, we are all tied here, Pounder. I'm not sure what's going on right now. Well, he's known for his silky mitts, James, and they're on display yet again as he recognizes where his opponent is. He's got the poise and patience with the buck to open up his shooting lane, and he buries it. Katnos won the draw in the neutral zone. Tries to get it over to Jay. Forces the turnover in the defensive zone. McCartney's got it across the line. Winding down the final minute of this opening frame. Poked away. Oh, this looks dangerous. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. In close. Nice save from point blank range. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly. That'll do it for period number one. We'll drop the puck on the second period in just moments. A chance for both teams to refuel. They are back on the ice, and period number two is about set to go. Neither side giving up much in the opening frame, and here we go, still tied up in the second. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up for the first 20 minutes? That knows in a tie game, and really they're lucky they are, James, because their opponent has really taken it to them. Why? Because they've mismanaged the puck, and they've had way too many turnovers. It's a 2-1-1! play as they catch their opponent flat-footed on transition and they create the numerical advantage odd man rush perfectly executed speed puck movement and of course finish and off the face off they take possession fires it on net no room for that one to get through 
Byron's able to corral that pass. He's got the puck on his stick. You know he's dangerous. He's got two in the game, and he's looking for another. He got all of that one. He's got a step. Oh, and he missed on the breakaway. Uh, hard to believe you're one-on-one -on -one with the goaltender. This is a product of looking for the perfect shot. Man, it's a game of inches. Here he is with the backhander. Made the stop on the play. Uh, he's dialed in tonight, James. When the puck is on his stick, he is a magician. He goes east-west, he can go north-south, and most importantly, he creates his own space. He does take it to the net, but this time the goaltender makes the save. Locks him. Jay's got it in the defensive end. Sends it in front. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Miles got the puck. Trying to clear the zone. Moves the puck to Powers. Can hang on to the puck after taking it off. Oh, what a hit check. He got all of that. Oh, what a save in front. Picked up along the wall by Jay. And another stop. Well, he's been under siege. I'm loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive saves one after another. Makes a move in front. Katno's got the puck along the boards. And the officials are going to say play on here. Well, that's some great speed to be able to catch up to the puck and keep that play alive. Oh, he, a chance on the rush here. Passes it over. What a play. That's how you do it on defense. And that's knocked away by Bowers. Takes a shot. Oh, what a great stop as he got a piece of it with the glove. Boss carries the puck in his own zone. Dishes it to Bowers. Chance in front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Wait, wait, no, it's in, it's in the net, it's in the net. You never want to see yourself on that screen in the video room on a goal, James. There's been a defensive error, and then you get caught covering up, and everyone gets caught out of position. As a result, it's in the back of your net. Katno's won the draw. Moves it quickly over to Powers. A chance in front! Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? The shot's come from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. Katno's got the puck. Stoppage in play as we get an offside. Past the halfway mark of this period, Katno's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Boston's in transition. From point blank! How did he stop that one? Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation. Scores! will look to build on some momentum here before the period closes out after that goal. They need to continue that momentum as it nears the end of the second, and they want to carry that energy into the intermission. Real important that they can have an opportunity to collect themselves and come out strong in the third. The Dogs want to take this lead into the second intermission as they continue to put lots of pucks to the net. Maz, quick stick, lands from the puck here at center. Quick pass to Byron. On the attack along the boards. Oh, and he lines up his opponent perfectly with a hit check. Getting into the later stages of this period. The Aces make their way back into the face-off circle, still in search of another goal. Boston's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Quick feed to Maher. And that's a great heads-up play by Dupuy. Big play inside the defensive zone. Oh, relentless pressure, and they come up with the turnover. Puck 
grab by Byron. Takes that pass back at the point. Trying to gain a step. All alone. He scores! Wow! Gatno's been the dominant team all night. And look at this, a two-goal lead here late in the second. Yeah, they've worked hard, and really they've been the dominant team. And what's shown on the scoreboard is exactly the way it should be. And they'll be heading into the intermission. And this is one of the things I didn't like as an athlete. When you were playing well, I didn't want to rest. I wanted to keep going at it. And that's intercepted by McCartney. Boston's moving it up the ice. Oh, what a play to hold on. Well, he just runs to the coverage with that move, and now he's got open ice available. They've got an odd man rush here. Oh, and it's offside as the official stops the play. Officials are set. Players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. There it is. That's a wrap for period number two. Both teams will get a chance to get a little breather here, and we'll come back. Third period action next. in the books. Big third period coming up for both teams and we're ready to go. Puck is dropped on the third and if you love offense, well, stick around for this one. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Boston's performance through two periods of play hasn't been that great, James. They're fortunate to still be in this game. So in the third period, they have to change the mindset. They have to use their instincts, and they have to start attacking. If they're going to shoot the puck from the perimeter, they have to have traffic in front. If they're going to shoot it from the inside, they got to look for rebounds, and they have to have a killer instinct attitude. Puck picked up by Byron. Castle's got control of it now from their own end. And we'll get a breather here with offside the call. The Dogs have put a lot of pucks on net, and as a result, they lead it early in this third period. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. He scores! And he completes the hat trick there! Well, uh, you gotta love it, James. I mean, he really brings it when he's on the road, right? And uh, he's been all over the puck, and he has just silenced the crowd. Well, this goal on the one-timer is another example of how well-rounded these athletes are today. He's not typically known for it, but he's able to let this one rip. It's a beautiful goal. And they grab possession of the puck after that center ice face-off. Fires it! Denies him on the one-timer! Perfectly executed hip check there. Sends the pass in front! in front right up the gut into the offensive end there's the whistle we got an offside oh here we go you knew that was coming tempers are flaring now you don't shoot that puck after the whistle unless you're sending a message and you know you know james that you're gonna have to answer for it and ding ding it's all over yeah the bell has rung and he certainly got his dung This has just been an ugly game, and they haven't been able to generate any momentum or get anything going. And this fight here is just a result of that buildup over the course of the game. Extremely frustrated, so the mitts speak for themselves. Action set to resume here after what was a wild couple of minutes on the ice there. 
They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Slides it to Ma. And that one's picked off in the neutral zone. Here's a short pass to Bowers. Feeds the puck over. And then it's deflected off someone in front. Boston's in on the offensive attack now. Picked up along the boards by Bowers. Right in the open ice, that one's picked off. Gains the zone through the middle. Handles it along the blue line. And that's poked away by Nagy. Moves it to Jay. Scores! What a goal! All effort! Well, we've seen it so many times before. He has such a knack to lose coverage in front of the net and in tight. And when he gets a puck on his stick, he ain't missing from there. Ask anyone around the league or within his own team, and they'll tell you he's one of the most accurate and best shooters in the league, James. And this is another display right now. He doesn't have much time and space, but he has the wherewithal of what's around him. He gets it off quick, and he buries it. The Ducks win possession here in the open ice. Slick feed. Here he is from the slot, and he makes that save as well. Ah, this is where he earns his money. The most coveted spot just ahead of the blue paint, and this time he doesn't convert because the goaltender makes an excellent save. Boston's grabbed a hold of the puck. And that one's turned aside. And the puck's kicked free. Scooped up along the wall by McCartney. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. And the play continues. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And that caroms off a body in traffic. Slides the puck down low. Gatno's playing it from the side. Scores! And the wrong team is having themselves a party in this barn tonight. And I don't think anybody except them like it. No one likes it in this building, that's for sure. I mean, fans are leaving. They paid money for this ticket. And if you're on the ice, you just want to crawl out of there. But you can't. There's more games to play. And this is a tough one, James. Oh, man, James, he is just lethal when he is in the paint. He knows how to shield and maneuver his body to be able to get pucks off quickly. It's what he does best, and he buries one there. And off the draw center, they take control of the puck. Drives to the sweet spot, and a penalty's coming up on the play. Without a doubt, this is a call. I mean, you're in on the breakaway, you're all alone, and then the reach from behind takes out your skates for the trip. tonight on the ice and they have certainly capitalized on their opportunities and continue to lead in the third. Boston's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Jay's been such an offensive threat tonight all over the offensive zone disrupting coverage and you can hear the booze in the stadium. They want him out of here. He's been such a threat. Boss picks up the puck. A trip into the empty net. Oh, this is a tough one to take. You have the extra attacker on the ice. One miscue. It goes 200 feet and is in the back of the net. He's got the puck on a string here, and I don't think that his opponent knows how to defend him because he is just magic when it's on his stick. But this time he elects to move the puck versus take the shot. Catches everyone off guard, including the goaltender. Katnos won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. The Dogs will play it in their own end. Feeds it over to Boss. Takes a nice feed into the corner. That one's off the blocker. Mattier has been off his game tonight, really looking uncomfortable between the pipes, and he needs to settle in and find a way to create some momentum for his team. But on the other side of the puck, I mean, the Glories have to contribute offensively, and they can only do that if there's a sense of urgency to their game. Moves into the slot. Gets just enough to keep it out. Battle along the boards. Three on one, look out! Here's a pass, and that pass is blocked. Two on oh! Here's a pass. Oh, it's stopped! Oh my goodness, 
What a save! Play with some dead penalty coming up. And the body language on the bench says it all, James. They're all looking up at the time on the clock to see if it'll continue to run because they got to kill off this penalty when they're down a bunch of goals. The Aces win the draw. Great reach with the stick by James. 